Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel HTM here and in this video we'll be breaking down how to level up your companions in the Elder Scrolls Online and if you want to save time how to level them up faster and more efficiently than anyone else. I have five fantastic tips that I want to share with you most of them I haven't heard mentioned anywhere else. So if you want to get your companion to max level quickly as well as unlock all of their skills and passives then let's jump right into it. Starting with tip number five, let's talk about how companions gain experience and how they actually level up. This is quite a bit different than how normal player characters can level up in the game through things like exploration or through questing. Neither of those methods actually work for your companions in order to get them from level one where they start up to level 20, which is the max level, the level cap for companions. What you need to actually do instead in order to progress your companions level is combat. Lots and lots of combat. The more enemies you kill, the more experience your companion will get as well. So farming enemies, doing experience grinds, uh, locations which I've posted already in other videos on this channel, things like that will actually help you make progress on leveling up your companion fairly quickly. Another option that I found that also gave my companions extra experience was dolmens. So not only do companions get experience from clearing out the enemies, they also get that nice boost of experience at the end for clearing out the entire dolmen. So group events like this, world events, might actually be a great way to go if you want to level up your companion quickly. Now the only thing for companions that does not level up based on combat experience are their guild skills, including the companion version of the Mage's Guild, the Fighter's Guild, and the Undaunted skill lines. These actually do level up based on questing and specifically daily quests from each guild. Companions can progress from level 1 to level 10 for each guild and this does unlock new abilities for your companion in those guild skill lines so it's definitely worth it but this is not the same as your companion's level. It's a different system basically. So to recap, to increase your companion's level from 1 to 20 as well as level up their class skill lines, their weapon skill lines, and their armor skill lines you need combat experience and a lot of it. To level up the guild skill lines, complete the guild daily quests. Tip number four has to do with experience bonus modifiers, which do actually work on your companions, not just you. Now the reason for this is because companion experience earned is actually based on your own experience earned as a player. So basically the more experience you get, the more experience your companions get as well, though there are some exceptions to this. Now the first thing you can do is just use a typical experience bonus like experience scrolls or experience potions. Not only will your own player gain levels and ZP faster, but your companion will also level up much faster as well. Now equipping training gear on your player also works to level up your companions even faster. Now I don't mean putting training gear on the companions, you can't do that. You put training gear on yourself because again, more experience for you equals more experience for your companion. Now I didn't have a chance to test out things like double XP events because there, there isn't one right now, but my suspicion is this would probably work as well. The only thing that I've found that doesn't seem to benefit your companions leveling up is the enlightenment buff for the CP system, which that sort of makes sense that it wouldn't help your companions because enlightenment just lowers the amount of XP that you need for each champion point raise. But yeah, everything else works from XP bonuses, scrolls and potions to training gear. Put on as many of those things as you can and your companion will level up even faster. Tip number three is to plan out your weapon and armor skills for your companion. So we talked about this a little bit in tip number five, that companions level up their weapon skills and their armor skills through combat experience. This means that whatever weapon or armor your companion is using while they are in combat is ultimately what they will be leveling up, whether you like it or not. So for example, if you want your companion to be a tank, you will also want to make sure to get a one hand weapon and a shield and equip that on your companion so they can begin leveling up that skill line right away. The same goes for armor skill lines as well, but the way that armor leveling works on companions is a little bit weird, it's a little bit different, and I didn't see this explained in the game anywhere. Basically, in my testing, companions do not level up any armor skill line unless, unless they are wearing five pieces or more of a specific armor weight. So at least five pieces of light, medium, or heavy armor. That's how it works from what I've seen. I've tried it with three pieces of armor with four pieces, but none of those combinations actually gained any experience. 
It wasn't until I equipped five complete pieces of the same weight that that armor skill line, light, medium, or heavy, actually started to level up. Now remember, you only have seven pieces of armor. So basically, you can only level up one armor skill line at a time because even if you were to, let's say, wear five pieces of heavy, one light, one medium on your companion, they would only level up their heavy armor skill line because that would be the only type that they were wearing with at least five or more pieces. Of course, you can still mix and match pieces and armor weights with your companions, uh, and you can actually get different passives depending on the different armor weights, so this, this is good for your final companion build, but just keep in mind that you can't level up more than one armor skill line at a time like you can on a player. Now you may be saying, well, my companion came with medium armor equipped, but I want them to be a tank, what can I do? Well, in most towns there are actually basic gear merchants now, which also sell companion gear in white quality. No traits, just basic gear. They sell heavy armor, medium, light armor, as well as weapons and shields. So what I recommend is that you pick up the weapon and the armor pieces that you want to level up on your companion right away as soon as you get them. Go to those town merchants, pick up the pieces that you want for your build so you can start leveling up those skill lines as soon as possible. Tip number two is to farm guild daily quests for your companions. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, as we discussed earlier, companions level up their guild skill lines by completing daily quests for each guild. Now, obviously there is a limit to how much experience you can earn for your companion this way, as your character can only complete one guild daily quest per day per guild. Each daily quest seems to provide about a half a level for your companion's guild skill line for that specific guild. So leveling these up one day at a time would take quite a while. However, if you have multiple characters, you can actually get around this limit like pretty much any other daily quest in the game by doing that same daily quest on each of your different characters, basically farming the daily multiple times per day. So if you have, let's say, four characters, then you could earn your companion two guild skill levels a day. Or if you have, let's say, 10 characters, you could level up five times in a day. Now, obviously, this takes some work to set up, but it's going to be a much faster process than waiting a day for each half a skill level. Again, if you have access to more than one character. Now, the main thing here is that you do need to complete the companion's intro quest to unlock them on each of your separate characters. You do this in the zone of Blackwood, it takes maybe 10 minutes, so it's not too bad. But the nice thing is that your companion's skill lines, their level progress, even their weapons and armor always go with them no matter what character you summon them on. And finally, tip number one is by far the most important tip I've learned about leveling up companions for the Blackwood chapter, and that is level up your companions on a level 50 plus character if you have access to one. Now, I learned this from my own experience playing the Blackwood chapter on PC this week. I was on one of my newer characters at the time. I think they were around level 10 or so. And I thought, let's unlock Bastion on this character and start leveling up, you know, both the companion and myself at the same time. I'll, I'll save time that way, right? Well, it turned out this was an extremely slow way to level up the companion. And after about 30 minutes or so, he was still stuck at level two. Basically, Bastion was going nowhere. Now, this is again because companions gain experience based on how much experience you yourself gain as the player. And as a lower level player, XP is actually scaled down significantly. At level 10, my new character earns maybe 200 XP max per kill. Compare this to a character in the CP ranks that can easily earn 4,000, maybe even 5,000 plus XP per kill. That's a huge difference. This is how XP scaling works in ESO for players. Each time you level up, your next level costs more XP to earn, and you also earn more XP for each enemy that you defeat. So this ends up making a huge difference from leveling up companions. Once I logged into my CP unlocked level 50 main character, my companion was gaining levels every five minutes. It was so much faster because I had more just raw experience coming in. So I don't know if this is intended or not, but just keep it in mind, if you have higher level characters, I do recommend trying to level up a companion on one of those because it will be much easier. And with that said, that's gonna wrap up our five tips for leveling up companions in the Elder Scrolls Online brand new Blackwood chapter. Hope you all enjoyed the video and you found it informative. Of course, if you did, don't forget to crush that like button and let us know what you think so far of companions in the comments section below. I'm definitely interested in reading what you all think. 
Now, if you have any more questions on companions, I do have several video and written guides. I'll have those linked down in the description and the pinned comment below, so you can check those out if you're interested. Thank you all again so much for watching, and I will see you around in the next video. Everybody, just a quick note that we are continuing to roll out our members-only rewards right here on YouTube. For example, our tier two members called the Elite Squad get access to our full members-only video library. This includes things like unique and off-meta builds like the Stamina Templar build you are checking out right now in the background. This build has a whopping 10,000 weapon damage, 2,500 stamina recovery, no mythics, no trials gear, just easy to obtain crafted and overland sets. So if that sounds interesting to you, just click on that join button for more information. Big shout out and big thank you to all of our current channel members. I really appreciate your support. Y'all are amazing. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.